Hello guys, my name is Piyos Katsis and today we're going to see how we can implement our own pipeline. We will see that in the context of processing a request. My two first videos were about how to implement our own mediator and now we'll create a pipeline behavior like the one in mediator from Jimmy Bogart. The mediator package that you probably use if you use a mediator. If you haven't seen these videos, don't worry, I'll explain the code right now. So if I go to my custom mediator project, I have separated uh, my commands and my queries because it's easier to handle a command that doesn't return anything. So I began with something simple before handling requests with return types. Now I could refactor that so that we have a global request, but that's outside of the scope of this video. It may be something for another one. So we will implement the pipeline specific to the commands. So let's take a look to our commands. Let's go to custom mediator dops abstractions and I have an I command. It's just an empty interface so we can mark our commands. And then I have an I command handler, uh, which is a generic interface. Also, I have an I command sender which is an interface with one contract to implement the send async method that takes in a generic command and the cancellation token. Now let's go to the implementation of my command sender. I inject the service provider, then I create a scope and then I get the I command handler specific to the T command that we accept. Finally, I call the handle async method of this handler passing down the command. And also let's see how we register all the command handlers. I have a dependency injection static class and for adding the commands I use naked package called Scrator. So I scan for all the interfaces with the implementation that implement the I command handler. And then I add them with a scoped lifetime. So that was it about the logic of our commands. Let's close all these tabs and let's go create our own pipeline. So in my abstractions library, I will create a new folder. I will call that pipeline. And inside that I will create a new interface. Let's call that I command pipeline behavior. And, the, and that's what all our behaviors will implement. So we will have a generic t request and let's add the constraint that that t request cannot be null and our contract will be a task I will call that handle async we will accept a t request now in here we need the delegate to call the next uh, behavior or the handler if it's the last behavior we will see that in depth in a minute so let's say it will be our next and also let's accept the cancellation token okay and now for our next we will have a public delegate of a task and we will call that command handler delegate so command handler delegate so let's copy that let's paste it in here and uh, actually since it's uh, for commands only let's call that t command and let's call that command and of course let's put that outside of the interface okay so let's see how will that work um, from the clients of our mediator so let's go to our api let's create a new folder let's call that behaviors and in there let's create i don't know a logging behavior so logging behavior of a t command and that will implement the i command pipeline behavior of this t command and let's put the constraint that this command needs to implement the i command interface okay now this complains because we need to have this handle async method so let's 
implement those missing members ok let's turn that to a async task and let's eject a logger so private read only i logger logging behavior of t command logger and let's i don't know log the command type is and let's print the command type so command dot get type and we need to log it as an information okay and finally let's call the next delegate so await next and let's create also another behavior let's call it logging behavior 2 so logging behavior 2 let's copy some code okay and let's make that two as well and this one and this one let's import the missing namespaces okay but this time we want to print the whole uh, command so the command is let's call that command and let's pass the command as parameter since in our example learning command is a record so we don't need to serialize it or anything and let's close the curl brace and uh, now let's go and register our behaviors before we finally deal with the processing of uh, the commands so I'll go to program.cs and uh, all I need to say is builder.services add as transient and the type of i command pipeline behavior and the implementation for that will be the type of logging behavior and the same for the logging behavior too so logging behavior too and that should register our two logging behaviors and now finally let's go to our command center and see how we can invoke in turn of these behaviors so in here after we create our scope let's uh, also before or after the handle doesn't matter uh, try to get the behaviors so let's say var behaviors equals with scope dot service provider of the command we are handling uh, so t command and let's also and let's also enumerate them to a list so to list oh and that's services not service okay so now if we don't have any behaviors so if behaviors dot only and let's negate that we can call the handler immediately and then return so we'll call the handler here and then we will return and now let's see how we will handle the case that we have some behaviors now what do we want to achieve we have some behaviors let's say three for example now in the first behavior when we call the next delegate we need to go to the second behavior from there we need to go to the third behavior and when we are in our last behavior calling the next we want finally to go to our handler so we will work with our behaviors in reverse so the next delegate of the last behavior will point to the handle async method of the handler the next uh, delegate of uh, the behavior two will point to the next delegate of uh, the behavior three and the next delegate of our first behavior will point to the next uh, delegate of the second behavior so we'll have a chain of delegates now let's go and implement that in our code first let's set the last uh, delegate as we said so command delegate command handler delegate 
next equals with our handle async method of our handler and we will pass the command and the cancellation token as well now let's uh, reverse our list of behaviors so behaviors dot reverse and now let's loop through our behaviors so for each behavior in behaviors first we will need to capture the current delegate so let's say var current next equals with uh, the next and now we need to set the next to be equal with the handle async method of the behavior we are currently at so behavior dot handle async and we need to pass the command the current delegate so current next and finally the cancellation token and now our uh, next command handle delegate will have all that chain of delegates so all we need to do is to call that so await next and everything should work fine we will debug that of course to help us understand how it's working but before to that let's actually go to our logging behavior and uh, after we call the next delegate let's say uh, put something here so we can put a breakpoint and see that uh, we have that the uh, sequential flow in our pipelines and in the handler and finally in the handler so let's say i don't know var a equals with one and now let's debug that and i'll also open postman and i have already created the request uh, for post so I'll just post uh, the city roam so that uh, request will first go to our command center so let's put a breakpoint in here let's send that okay now we should have our behaviors and as you can see we have two behaviors the loading behavior and the loading and the loading behavior too let's continue and uh, now let's go to our loading behavior let's put a breakpoint after we call the next and then after one and the, this, let's go put one in our logging behavior and let's go and find our create forecast handler okay so now we expect the flow to be first we will go to the uh, this line 18 that before we call the next delegate to our logging behavior then uh, we need to stop in the logging behavior too then in our handler and then again go to that line that doesn't do anything so i'll hit continue okay we hit uh, the first breakpoint now we hit the one in the login behavior too now the one in our handler and then finally back the in the one in the line that doesn't do anything so it all works as expected and if i go to my console you can see that uh, the the first log message that the command type is uh, custommediator.api.command.createForecast command and then the command is create forecast command and we get the, the property city and the value of its of this property which is row so everything uh, works as expected now just to be complete i will implement off the camera a pipeline for the queries which is the same exact concept but uh, also uh, since the handler returns something we will have that something returned to each behavior in reverse order so let me do that and uh, explain the different parts so everything's ready we have our, our query pipeline behavior but instead of one generic parameter it has two a t query and a t result uh, then i have implemented two behaviors a query behavior one and query behavior two and i also renamed our previous behaviors as command behavior and command behavior too so we can see here that uh, the first behavior it implements the i query pipeline behavior of t request and t result and we have the constraint that the t request i should have named that t query but 
it's okay is an I query of the result and I log some information before we pass to the next behavior I log the type of the request and the request and uh, then I log the result type and uh, the result and since our result in our example is a class I serialize that and uh, then we have a query behavior too that doesn't do anything it's there for debug purposes uh, in my program.cs I register my two behaviors and if we go to our query sender it's the exact same thing we get all the behaviors that uh, part right here is for uh, calling the hand lacing method of uh, the query handler if you want to see more about that uh, you can refer to the video to the top right uh, of your screen then if we don't have any behaviors we call the hand lacing method of the handler and uh, next we have the exact same behavior as the command center we have a delegate pointing to the handless hand lacing method and then we loop uh, through our behaviors we're doing the exact same stuff that we did with our commands and uh, finally we return the only difference now is that that query handler delegate points to a method that returns a t result so if i go and debug that and uh, go first of all to query behavior one put a breakpoint in here, one in here, one in here and one in our query handler so the exact same thing that uh, we did with our commands okay let's open postman let's first create a city oh when we have the breakpoints from before that's okay and if I change that to get and put the name of the city as a route parameter so roam and hit send we hit our first breakpoint before we pass uh, the request to the next handler I'll hit continue now we are in the query behavior too continue and uh, we are in the handler and now back to the first query behavior after we process the request and if I hit continue and go to the console as uh, you can see request the custom mediator API queries get forecast by city query and the city is wrong and then I get back null for some reason I get a not found oh I had that calibration here for some reason so let's do that again continue 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 and as you can see the response is a weather forecast response so that was all for this uh, video we implemented our own pipeline if you liked it please like and subscribe thank you for watching and have a nice one